In today's video, we are talking all about keyboard shortcuts inside of Premiere Pro and why they are so efficient at speeding up that workflow. I am gonna be talking about my five favorite shortcuts. So shortcut number one is my most used shortcut inside of Premiere Pro, and it is called the Add Edit Shortcut. Now, if you don't actually have this shortcut, you're gonna go up to Premiere Pro, Keyboard Shortcuts, search for Add Edit, under sequence, and I just have this set to the letter J. You can set these shortcuts to whatever you want and override other shortcuts, but this is where you will make all those adjustments and save them so that you can use them in your timeline. So once you have that set, you're gonna come on your timeline, and as you're playing back your timeline, it's kind of a pain to have to come over here to the razor tool and click your clip, press your selection button, delete this, and then close the gap. That is one way to edit and probably the most traditional way to edit your actual sequences. However, there's a very, very quick way to do this and that is the add edit button. So as you're playing your clip back, now that you've set that add edit button, you just press the space bar, J on my keyboard will cut that clip and you've cut the clip with the click of one button instead of having to go over to your toolbar, click the razor tool and slice that clip. Now moving on to shortcut number two goes in conjunction with the add edit tool. And this is known as the ripple delete function. Let's say we wanna make this selection here. We press J on our keyboard and now you'll see that the clip that was previously cut out is hovered and already highlighted. All we're gonna do is press W on my keyboard, which is my shortcut for ripple delete. You go up to keyboard shortcuts and you just search ripple delete under edit. This is where you will actually set that shortcut player sequence back. Let's say we wanna cut that out W and we can keep playing our timeline forward and edit our clips in a much more efficient way than we did before. What the ripple delete function allows you to do is quickly cut the clip and remove everything automatically and shift those two clips together on your timeline so that you don't have to do that manually. Shortcut number three is all about linking and unlinking your video clips from your audio clips. Now there's a lot of times when you're in your timeline that you want to actually edit both clips together. So your audio and your video clip, those are right now automatically connected to each other. But what if we wanna unlink these and separate them so we can have the video on its own and the audio on its own track. If you highlight your clips and you right click unlink, this now automatically unlinks your clips. So when you click on them, you can actually move your video clip separately from your audio clip. If we wanna just use the shortcut Command L, now, they have unlinked themselves with the click of a keyboard shortcut. A beautiful little hack and a beautiful time-saving trick to unlink your clips very, very quickly on your timeline. So we're gonna go to link, clip, and I have this set to command L. Moving on to shortcut number four. Now this is the tool that I use so often, I don't even know I'm using it, and it is the snapping tool inside of Premiere Pro. Now, if you hover over to your timeline here, you'll see that there's the snap and timeline, and there's a little S next to that button. All of these little tools inside of Premiere Pro have the actual shortcut next to them. Let's say we wanna take these two clips and snap them together. Right now, if I move this down the timeline, there's not an actual snapping option, and that's because our snap in timeline is turned off. So all I'm gonna do is as I'm dragging this, I'm just gonna press S on my keyboard, and now we have an automatic snap to that next clip. And if I don't want it to snap, I just press S again, and I remove that snap with the click of one button. So rather than having to go up here every single time and turn this on and off, we have a beautiful shortcut that saves us time when we're going through our sequence. My fifth most used keyboard shortcut is the move track select forward and backwards. Now this is very helpful when you wanna move full timelines out of the way to make room for other clips inside of your timeline. If I wanted to move, let's say everything on the right side of these two clips or before a keyboard shortcut, I would hover over all these clips all the way to the end of my timeline. I'd zoom back in and I'd come back here and I'd shift everything over. It works fine, but it's not as efficient as this tool. And I wanna move all of these clips, let's say starting here to the right of my timeline. All I'm gonna do is press A on my keyboard, click that, press V to select it, and I can move this all the way down the timeline. So I would do the same thing here to take everything from the left and move it over to the right. So I go Shift A, we're gonna select that, press V on our keyboard, which is the selection tool, and drag that over. Make sure our snapping button is on to snap these together, and boom, you are good to go. Plus and minus on my keyboard are most likely my used shortcuts. This is a little bonus at the end. So plus on your keyboard will extend your timeline and minus 
will make it a lot smaller for you. So you can see everything globally. And if you want to actually use the handles here, that's essentially what you're doing, just using a key on your keyboard to make that a lot more efficient. I hope these shortcuts helped to get you started and get you in the flow inside of Premiere Pro. Use these in your workflow and I promise you they will make you a much more efficient video editor. I do have a lot more shortcuts to share in a later video, so stick around and make sure to continue watching this series on Adobe Live.